Girl Glow. Hey, it's Kiko. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to episode three. Um, so we're gonna kick off with the hot spot. I make it, make it hot. Make it hot. Make it hot. Don't stop. Make it hot. Make it hot. <laughs> Is somewhere local and it's in North Park. Would you call it North Park? Uh, I always say Adams Avenue. Adams, Adams Avenue. Avenue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Normal yeah. Heights. Normal, Normal Heights. Heights. There yeah. we go. There we go. It's neighbors to North Park. Yes. And it's the pizza place called Mama Mia. And then right next door is Mariposa, Mariposa. Ice Cream. Mariposa so ice cream. I've been going there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where my Where my here. So we're just recommending something local and we're not only doing tacos, so right. pizza's Pizza fire. And tacos. <laughs> Pizza and tacos. I was like option number two, you know. But it's just super yummy. Um the bread is fire, the crust is good, like just the right amount of sauce. Um and then Mariposa right next door. It just the flavors are amazing. I've been going there since I was eight years old. Oh so my gosh. yeah, since <laughs> like the fourth grade when they first opened Whoa. up. Yeah, so that the fact that they're still here is like That's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. And it proves that quality and taste is there. So Absolutely. definitely recommend it. Both of them together though is fire. Like yeah. I get so many compliments on it too. Like, oh my god, if this was a date, like would have been a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely recommend that hot spot so make sure to check it out all right now it's time for spill the tea did you hear about ticket nation's new covid rules it's yes it's about um you have to have a uh, negative oh yeah up-to-date up -to -date negative covid test results and in order to go to any live nation live nation take uh is it Ticketmaster or Ticketmaster? Or Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster, right? Ticketmaster? Yeah, it's Ticketmaster. Oh my god. <laughs> I put Ticket Nation. <laughs> Ew, you did put Ticket Nation. <laughs> ah, okay, so Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster, which I'm glad someone's trying to like think forward about how we're going to start going back to live concerts and stuff like that. But on the other hand, people are scammers. And once they see what a negative, I mean, I just got an email because I took it upon myself to take a COVID test because two coworkers were sick. And I just really just got an email that was like, you're negative. Like, so it, people, I feel like people will digitally manipulate their COVID test results in order to go to these like events. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm just like, I, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. And it's <laughs> like, they're just complaining that you have to take the vaccine as well, well or as, as another option. Right. Like, they're not forcing you to take the vaccine. Right. If you want to see a concert that bad, you're going right. to follow the rules. That's how I see it. They're not telling you to. And it's for your safety and precaution as well but in my health i was like it's not that serious so i'm gonna i'm gonna just wait and yeah i'm not gonna force a concert or whatever yeah but a drive-in one we had <laughs> we yeah. had which we'll do a review next week yeah first. we'll do a review on our first drive-in uh rave yeah see how that is if it's worth it if but it's i think going. i might low-key like it because we're the people that are like if this is the stage we're back here we're the back, <laughs> yeah. we're the back left crew and I hate it when people are like walking around aimlessly during the set and they're like on your shoes or, you know, and it's just too much. So maybe I might like this a little bit better, but then I might feel too disconnected from everybody. So I don't know. I can't have it both Definitely ways. have it. I'm not even thinking about it. I was like, I'm not expecting anything. I'm just there. You know, we love Boombox. Right. So I'm like, Boombox, Boombox. That's all I'm thinking about. But I was listening to our old, my old voice notes and we were, you know, we had an idea of like, creating something that we discuss items and then we were going to hard <laughs> and I was, the voice note was i was like oh my gosh we have to go through the, the walking we're gonna have to go through the parking i was like kiyoshi why do we do this why do we do this every festival and then now i'm like i get to save my footsteps mm -hmm. well, i'm just you know i'm really, not to bump into people people no. aren't walking slow and being stupid like yeah, being stupid because there's so many times we have to walk through the crowd and i have to take you to side and be like breathe just wait <laughs> and i have to hold her hand because i get lost i get yes. lost very easily I'm <laughs> surprisingly i'm the one with the sense of direction none i get lost with siri in the real world <laughs> but at festies you can't I can't get lost. No, I tried I to get lost at Coachella, <laughs> and I could not get lost. I was like, man, I can't 
I was lost. lost nowhere. I was completely lost. Yeah, so she, yeah, we, yeah, we got a turn. So she's chugging me along and I'm trying to keep up. It's just too yes, much. So yeah. I'm excited. We'll see then. All right, so now it's time for what's in your taco. Don't stop. Make it hot. Make it hot. You gonna blow my cover, baby. You gonna make me pull it up. You know. I don't know how it came across and I was like, what's the stupidest shit you've done for a friend? Um, I don't know. I think just a lot of self-reflecting goes on during these COVID times. <laughs> the pandemic got me thinking. <laughs> and one, uh, it's like, what's what you did? Um, the stupid shit. One stupid shit she's done for me is there was like this guy that wanted to go home with me for, for the club like so bad. Like, if you're in the club, it's like hard to find people. So but like, I just kept getting like caught up with this one dude. One he would dude. not let me go. And I was like, yo, what the fuck am I going to do to get out of this situation? Because it was like, you're going home with me. And, and <sighs> you're going home with me tonight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was, even though she said no a million times, oh my gosh. no means no. That was it. It wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't gonna, it wasn't happen. gonna happen. And I <laughs> never saw Kiyoshi's acting ability <laughs> till that night. <laughs> I swore there was water on the floor on how drunk she was acting. I was faded. She was faded, uh, y'all. She was so faded. Even the people outside was like, oh, they, they was like, oh, and I was like, no, bitch. I was acting. Yeah. Was but like acting. the fact that she got like almost that whole quarter of people like, yes. oh my God, was she's like, fucking Damn, she slapped me drunk. I'm like, no, actually I'm not. I was helping my friend out. And it was the security guard was like, yo, your friend is like wasting. I was like, oh my God. Like, and of it's good that because he like worked there too or whatever uh, kind of yeah, worked yeah, there yeah. so I was like, okay good if the security guard saw her sloshed like Slosh. it's gonna be fucking like Slosh. true because yeah. she was falling even and her knees are you know weak her knee almost like touched weak. the concrete Ankles. like oh and i was like <laughs> she took one for the team i was like hey. <laughs> Black knee high boots, bitch. She was on the Stumbling. ground with me. I was stumbling. Stumbling. Tripping. Stumbling. But Everything. no, after we left, he was like, just drop her off and come back or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just drop her off and come back. And she was like, no, I, I got to make sure my girl is okay. Like, I can't take care of her. Yeah. He's like, man, well, I'll just beat you there. So it was, it was starting just to get out of control. Non-stop answers. I was, was just like, oh, I think I even had to turn off my phone. And yeah. I would never do that. Um, do not disturb was not enough. <laughs> so I had to turn off my phone. And then another, it's not what I did for somebody. It's what my sister did for me. Um, she used to be doing some stupid shit for me. Cause sometimes I get my little spare confidence and I feel like shooting my shot back in the days. And <laughs> my homecoming day, like I was obsessed with this one dude at work. And I was like only 18, of course. And I was like, gonna. T I told my sister, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ask my tart. Ooh, I didn't want to say where I work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I think he still follows me on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Um, I was like, I'm going to ask my coworker like to homecoming. I'm going to do it. And I, one day I did. And he actually said yes. And I'm telling you, I never spoke to this guy. I only admired him from afar. And when I get like a crush, like I can't speak. And I just like. Really? I, I, I admire him from afar. I'm shocked. <laughs> right? Perplexed. Why? I don't know how to flirt. <laughs> I, I don't either though. I, I don't bitch, either. Bitch, flirting is hard. It <laughs> but is. That's another topic. Anyways, and then like years later, like I still think I, I like I am convinced I asked my homecoming date and I did it all on my own. And my sister's like, you know I told him to say yes, right? And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, you told me you were going to ask him. So I went hit and like cornered him and was like, my sister's going to ask you to homecoming. You better say yes. Like, yeah. And so this whole time, like, I think she told me like six years, seven years oh later, like, you God. know, I set that up, right? And oh I was like, what? I didn't, I, it wasn't because of my swag. Mm -hmm. I did it all. I'm all, no. And she's like, I was just talking to her the other day. She was like, you, I, I feel like I've done that before. I was like, yeah, you have done that before. Because my high school crush, 
I admired him for years, didn't say a word. I don't know how to flirt, I was super shy. And she forced him and was like, hey, just ask my sister out, like da 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 da. And when he actually asked me out, I was still very shy. Like we kind of like went at, like high school, went out for like two weeks or whatever. Oh my and God. And I could barely say anything to him. Like barely, I barely can hug him. Oh, like I just so bad and it's, I can't. I don't know why. I don't know how to flirt. I, the stupid shit I do to myself. So <laughs> I appreciate her, but it was just another stupid shit that my sister has done for me, which I still like before. <laughs> but like, come on, damn. She thought she had it. In the I bag. thought I had it in the bag, but like, no, I do not. So I, I think that's why I stopped shooting my shot because yeah, you get disheartened after a while. Yeah, yeah. you do. So what stupid shit you've done, Kiyoshi? All right, so I had a dear friend. We're still friends today. And um, she was part of an MLM, multi-level marketing scheme. And I knew she was because the way she kept talking about it, I was like, are you sure this isn't a Ponzi scheme or whatever? She's like, no, nah, no, nah, super legit. Like, we're going to help people with their money. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, uh, nah, I'm cool. So she kept begging me to go. So I was like, yo, if I go to this thing, don't ask me to be no motherfucking member. I'm not going to be a member. I'm just going so you can get your points. <laughs> but I don't want to be, I don't want to like help nobody. I don't want them to help me. Like we're totally cool, whatever. So I go, they do their spill. It's like a, they're tugging at your heart string. I'm bleeding out through my heart. Like, damn, this is a fucked up story, which it really was. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. The story was fucked up. And then, you know, she persevered and now she's doing all this stuff. And it was like something to do with money. Like either I can like help someone with their finances or they can help me with my finances. And I'm just like, no, I'll go to a bank or like someone who knows about money, not no MLM scheme. Cause they was like, you know, people, Oh, this is not a job. This is my life. Like I love it. Like they were talking all that slang. I was like, no, this is, this is a fucking scheme. So after it was all said and done, they're like, all right, so do you want to help people or do you want us to help you? I was like, I want to help. They're like, Oh, well, can you give us some people? I ain't got no friends. It was like, so you ain't got no friend Her right here. <laughs> There's like, so you only know how much your finances? No. Okay, well, um, so why'd you come? So she didn't get kicked out. I'm, I'm only here for her. I'm good. Okay, so she didn't get kicked they out. They were so dumb with me. They was like, all right, like they literally had me cornered for a good 15 minutes. Like, you gotta, you gotta, like, they was like, well, you can just sit in with us while we talk about. I was like, dude, people are like, some people have bad finances, or then maybe they fell on like hard times. I don't want to be sitting there while they're bleeding their heart out. I'm just like, damn. That's fucked up. And I walked out the door. Like, I can't help these people. Like, well, no, you get training. And then, like, the more you train, and then maybe you can do it. It was just a fucking scheme. And I was just like, I went to the meeting. That was it. Deuces. And some people would break, too, and be like, okay. They were yeah, all like, no. Uh, I'll like, they'll do well, this. Well, open up your phone. I forgot my phone. And I left it in the car intentionally. I left my phone in the car Smart intentionally because I knew they were going to be like, open up your phone. I was like, why not open my Give me your hairdresser. What? No. What? I can't. No. I was like, no. She's crazy. No. Like, so yeah. For me, that was the craziest thing because I really didn't want to go. But I went. And they tried to get me to sign up. And I was, I had to stick to my guns. I was like, no. Um, horchata and crumpet. Horchata and crumpet. Baby, you're on fire now. I make it hot. So I realized this Thanksgiving how cool my nephew is. Um, <laughs> he's a pretty cool guy and he's only about eight years old. <laughs> I was like, maybe you should talk more often. <laughs> like he's just like, he likes to poke at the mind so much and and he asks his real life questions mm. and he asked me a good question. <laughs> he said, would you travel two years back or travel two years forward? Which one would you do? Yeah. I was like, um, well, the last two years have been good to me, mm -hmm. but I would be scared to travel forward just in case something tragic's happened, and I don't want that to like fuck me up in the present. So I guess it's hard. Huh? I don't know. I don't really. I don't really have an answer. I I don't know. If you had to choose, if I had to choose, you had to choose. Oh, I guess I say forward then. I agree. For, yeah. I agree. I'm like, no, everything's happened for yeah, a reason. For a and reason. if you try to redo it and the you're cheating, this, yeah, yeah, you're cheating the system, there's too many things you could fuck up. I'd rather have it in the future. It just sucks what I missed in the past few years. But right. I would definitely travel to the future. I would do the future. I was like, no, I'm not going to. Yeah, Butterfly. Have you seen that movie? Butterfly I have Fact? seen Butterfly. That Fact. shit is for real. That made me like, okay. Yeah. That made you think about life. But there's also on Family Guy where Stewie has this time machine and they go back. <laughs> 
and Brian did like the dumbest thing and it fucked, fucked everything, everything up. up. It fucked Ooh. everything up. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, because my little sister was like, uh, I'll go back and like do things like differently. I was like, no, but like. But what would you do? Well, I guess you would have to see some imperfections in your life now to say what you would do differently in the true yeah so yeah, yeah. i was like nah i fucked up for a reason or i bit I had to get hurt for a reason so I was like no. it made me who i am <laughs> and i was like damn weston that was a good ass question and he was like if you could have anything in the world what would it be and then i was all and then my other sister was all i'm gonna need a couple days to answer that and i was my answer was just love you know mine would be in conjunction with that honesty just Ooh. be honest Ooh. just be real like if i can have anything like don't mess with people's emotions and feelings and time and stuff like that so for me it would just be honesty like that's a good answer honesty that's a real i was like love because fuck a love shit <laughs> fuck a motherfucking love shit i'm about to give up on it um <laughs> this <sucks. laughs> To give it up on love, bitch. This close, okay? This close. Did you see it? Did you see that gap? Did you walk through that gap? She's doing a nail flex at the same time, guys. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't give up. It's no. a hard pill to swallow, and it's like right here. But I'm, I'm okay with it though. Like I'm okay with it. Hi, Kiyoshi. Oh, I was, like, I, was, I was like, love, and my nephew was like, really? And I was like, yeah, I just want love, and then to give love back. That's what I want. But honestly, it's pretty good. Would you invest in your body or put a down payment for like a body? Yaddy, yaddy, you don't even finish the sentence. No, bitch, body. I would do the body too because it's oh. gonna pay for your house. Right? No, I'm gonna do the body. No. Yeah, I was like, I'm doing the body too because they're like, wait, what? Because I was like. There's some forms like you could put ten thousand dollars to invest in a house or whatever, mm -hmm. or would you put ten thousand dollars towards your body? I'm no, like, this BBL. I, I would do body. Like, do body. No, no, that's an investment in yourself. Right. Like, mm -hmm. you could do so much. Don't even finish the question, body. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay, we're on the same page. But <laughs> yay. Which is rare. <laughs> I know, huh? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was tacos and tea. Again, it's your girl Glow. It's Kyoshi. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Make it hot. Make it hot. Don't stop. Make it hot.